Hall of Famer and Toronto Blue Jay legend Roberto Alomar has been fired as a Major League Baseball consultant and placed on the league's ineligible list. The CBC's Matt Cullen joins me now from Toronto. First of all, what happened to Alomar, Matt? Carol, this is a stunning fall for a great Blue Jays legend, certainly one of the most popular players in the franchise's history. Now, what happened today was that the league made a decision after it asked an external company to investigate a sexual misconduct allegation from a baseball industry employee back in 2014. And today, upon receiving the results of that investigation, Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred concluded that Alomar violated the league's policy. So you mentioned that base, he will be put on baseball's ineligible list. That essentially bans him from working in baseball for the league, for any club, for any minor league club. And he was working as a consultant for the league in his native Puerto Rico. Now, looking at the big picture here, Carol, in the past few months, baseball has had to deal with several high-profile sexual misconduct allegations. And really, the sport's overall treatment of women in the industry has been seriously put into question. This is another example and perhaps the most high profile so far. Yeah, this has particular uh, impact in Canada and in Toronto because he was a Blue Jay for so long and a well-loved Blue Jay for so long. How has the Blue Jays organization responded? Yes, the Blue Jays have responded very quickly. Early this afternoon, they first of all said they support Major League Baseball's decision. And as a result, the Blue Jays have decided to sever, sever ties with their former star second baseman. Here's part of the statement. They said the Blue Jays are committed to advancing respect and equity in baseball and are taking further action by removing Alomar from the level of excellence and taking down his banner from the Rogers Center. His number 12 was retired by the club. Now, Roberto Alomar also released a statement on Twitter today saying himself, I'm disappointed, surprised, and upset with today's news. With the current social climate, he adds, I understand why Major League Baseball has taken the position they have. I hope that this allegation will be heard in a venue that will allow me to address this allegation directly. And one more note, Carol, I think it's important to note as well that the Hall of Fame has said uh, that he will remain in Cooperstown, New York, uh, because he was in good standing at the time he was inducted back in 2011. So certainly uh, some shocking news for the Blue Jays and their fans today. All right. The CBC's Matt Cullen in Toronto. Matt, thank you.